Mr Park drives his family to car park A as they want to walk along a canal towpath to car park B. Mr Park drops off his family and then drives to car park B where he leaves the car and starts to walk along the canal towpath to meet them. When Mr Park meets them, he joins them on the walk back to car park B where the car is waiting. Mr Park drives at a speed of 30 km per hour and he and his family walk at a speed of 4 km per hour. The walk finishes at car park B at 1600 hours. This information relates to questions 92 to 96. 95. How far does Mr Park walk from car park B before he meets his family along the canal towpath? Give your answer to the nearest kilometre. When Mr Park drops his family here at car park A, he makes the journey to car park B along this road. It's 20 kilometres long and he travels in the car at 30 kilometres per hour. So 30 kilometres per hour means 30 kilometres every 60 minutes. Now think about that 20 kilometre journey. If I divide this value by 3, then I would have 10 kilometres. And if I do the same to the time, divide that by 3, then I would have 20 minutes. So that means he can travel 10 kilometres every 20 minutes and therefore that 20 kilometre journey would take him 40 minutes. So after 40 minutes, Mr Park would arrive at car park B. But of course the family would have started walking. They will begin walking from car park A as soon as they're delivered there. We know that they walk at a speed of 4 kilometres per hour. So, of course, that would be 4 kilometres in an hour, which is the same as 60 minutes. We're looking for how far they will have walked in 40 minutes. So, to do that, first of all, let's think about a 20-minute time period. To change 60 into 20, I would divide by 3, and that means I will do the same to the distance. 4 divided by 3 can be found by saying... 3 divides into 4 once with a remainder of 1 and 3 divides into 10 three times again with a remainder of 1. So we create a recurring decimal of 1.333 recurring or in other words we can give this as 1.3 kilometres. So after 20 minutes the family will have walked 1.3 kilometres and that means that after 40 minutes, the family will have walked twice that amount, 2.6 kilometres. That's when Mr Park starts walking. So by the time he starts walking, the family have already covered 2.6 kilometres of the 17 kilometre journey. Then after another hour, the family will have covered another 4 kilometres. After that hour, of course, Mr Park will also have covered four kilometres from car park B. After half an hour, the family will have travelled a further two kilometres. And of course, after that same half an hour, Mr Park will also have covered another two kilometres. So that means they've covered 14.6 kilometres in total. After another 15 minutes, the family will cover a further one kilometre and Mr Park will cover another kilometre from the opposite direction. So that gap between them will now be virtually closed. Instead of 14.6 kilometres, we have 16.6 kilometres, which means that this distance will only be 400 metres. As you can see, Mr Park will have covered four kilometres plus two, plus one, plus another 200 metres, half of this distance. So that would be 7.2 kilometres. We're asked to give that answer to the nearest kilometre. That means we would round the number down because 0 0.2 means we would round down to seven kilometres, not up to eight kilometres. It means then that to the nearest kilometre, Mr Park would walk seven kilometres from car park B before he meets his family along the towpath. And you can show the correct answer of C on the answer paper like this.